guys, welcome back to our video. And so, here, um, today we will be watching top 10 scary videos that will make you breathe manually. Ooh. Scary. Yeah, and so today I'm going to be playing with Camilla. Um, okay, so, yeah. come on. AKA Sweet Lemon. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe to the um, channel. Okay. Anyways, let's start watching. By the way, guys, warning, this is very scary. Very, very scary. Well, we're not I that hope. sure yet. Yeah, but it seems scary. Those are so terrifying that you may catch yourself holding your breath. Number 10, emergency landing. Why is he talking Imagine recording a selfie video after an emergency <laughs> landing in the Pacific Ocean. That's what this pilot did in August of 2019 when two aircrafts were taking part in an aerial photo shoot. The video captures the aftermath of an emergency landing in Half Moon Bay near San Francisco. One of the planes, a single engine Beechcraft Bonanza, malfunctioned, losing power. Video footage from above caught the landing, which was an admirably safe one, according to the pilot that managed. Okay, wait a sec. Is it just me, or is the guy just talking scary? Yeah, he he's weird. His he's like he's talking too slow. It's like, dude, no, no, no. it's like uh, it's just he's just creepy. I think he's crying? doing that on purpose. Oh, Tina's crying. <laughs> She's not actually crying, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's play the video. Managed to stay in the air. The downed pilot, David Leash, and his passenger both survived. After Leash set the plane down nicely in the water, Leash then captured the aftermath of the incident on video. While standing abroad the wing of the plane and later hanging onto pieces of floating items, like seat cushions and window shades, to help the pair tread water until rescuers arrived, the plane can be seen in the video going bottoms up, sinking nose first into the ocean. The pair, in fairly good spirits, all things considered, manage their best to stay afloat, although David notes the water is quite cold. The water is a little bit cold, but we're all right. I set it down real easy. No one got hurt. No, we're good. Did everything right? Thankfully, overhead, his fellow pilots sent Mayday calls to the Coast Guard, alerting them to the incident. Still, the pair were risking hypothermia in cold water for around 40 minutes by the time a Coast Guard helicopter that was on a training mission arrived. David continued filming as they were being airlifted out of there, although they certainly were lucky. They didn't make it out pain-free while waiting. They'd been repeatedly stung by jellyfish. Oh, Number dude. nine, Claustrophobic Hole, published to YouTube in December of 2019, Brandon Gross writes, My friend Danielle took me into one of the craziest caves I've ever seen. I'm very bad with tight spaces and decided to face my fears. Would he live to regret it? The footage follows the pair squeezing into a tight slot, holding onto a rope they descend into what can only be a claustrophobic nightmare. As the underground cave gets tighter and more suffocating by uh, the minute, the dude. cave widens and narrows, but at one point, Brandon notes that the space into which he intends to squeeze is only as wide as the length of his foot. Slithering through the caves, they finally reach the bottom cavern. When they start to continue exploring the claustrophobic oh gosh, corners, Brandon experiences a brief panic attack but continues on, oh seeing his friend Danielle wriggle ahead as she navigates further their restrictive spaces would make anyone squirm and squirm brandon does but he manages to oh make his way back to the light oh, and at I'm last speechless. brandon squeezes his way out of the hole he celebrates being free from that claustrophobic nightmare number eight, so scary <laughs> are you heading out to a seaside restaurant tonight oh you dude i i'd this? be like panicking if that, that happened oh i'd be like oh my god, oh my god. The and then keep on like having you know breakfast this morning at Moby Dicks mm -hmm. with her family and got a little more sea salt than was on the menu just imagine being there why is what? Just imagine, why is he talking like that like i can't get my mind up because he's trying to be scary this video is supposed to be scary yeah it's not really that scary like yeah press it i will the footage shows the restaurant overlooking a stormy gray sea. But there was supposed While to be the ghosts. Customers await their <laughs> meal. They helplessly watch as the waves take on a life of their own. It 
Me, Can we watch another there. creepy video? This is like, the world's this isn't scary. I want to see ghosts. Made for you. And I want to see, Probably guys, creepy comment things. down below if you think, well, if you think that ghosts are real. In my opinion, they are real. I've done my research. I think that they're real. Yeah, comment down below if you think ghosts are real. Do you think it's real? Yeah. Except. No. I yeah, I think they're real. I think they're real. I, except a lot of people say they're inside, not. So, boy, they like, I keep okay, on so getting I'm going to go to number seven. I'm just sometimes gonna... capture that, which we don't even know is there. This creepy clip was posted to r slash ghosts by zealous ideal call 53. It shows a monitor placed in a child's bedroom. The baby is playing while her guardian appears to be on her phone. All is normal until you turn up the sound. A growl of a voice snarls, help me, three times in a row at the beginning of the video. Oh, that's creepy, baby, that's so creepy. The young woman I thought you said that, that's so creepy. Oh my god. What's wrong with that's the mom? So creepy. Is it crossed wires with a nearby baby monitor? Did someone hack the monitor's sound, or is it oh my gosh, guys. capturing someone beyond crying out for help? Okay, this the is explains in the comments that this isn't this the only is creepy. strange occurrence in their house, and that paranormal events have regularly been happening since she was pregnant. The redditor writes, "We've had another incident with her." Neck Except, guys, cabin. don't believe everything you see on the internet. This is Seeing this could probably be fake. Okay, guys. An orb mm -hmm. and her suddenly so, waking up screaming. We're just doing I've this for fun. In my own yeah. room with the feeling of someone watching me, breathing on my neck, severe night terrors, and missing items that suddenly return. Does this give more credence to the presence of a paranormal entity? My answer oh, is, is yes. This is... I'm covering my ears. This is just too creepy. Number six. I actually kind of like this. I like this, but it's creepy. Like, oh my god. This video proves that saying couldn't be more true. A mother in Cork, Ireland was threatened via letter by a former work colleague. In fact, he was watching her, and CCTV footage caught her terrifying ordeal on camera. After someone had painted her car tires pink and put X's and O's on the car's windows, as well as the message, I win. The homeowner, Una Ring, installed a CCTV camera outside her home. It captured her work colleague posting a menacing letter to the windshield of her car. What it said was so disturbing, I can't say it here. Thankfully, a civilian police force known as Guardians of the Peace of Ireland were made aware of the lurker's threats and were surveilling Una's home. What followed was the lurker's escalation. Oh, she, she came around Una's problems. with a crowbar in hand and was caught on camera approaching her property. He was also discovered to be in possession of rope and duct tape. The suspect was confronted by the protectors and was taken into custody. Una says she owes her life to them. The creep was given five years behind bars for his actions. Wow. Number five. Well, Phantom at least Theater. the problem was solved. And guys, um, this isn't recommended for kids under the age of hmm, nine. Yeah, under no eight, eight. I'd recommend nine. Yeah, eight or nine, eight or nine, guys. You know, um, it so depends. It depends. Okay, so guys. if you're just um younger than that, please just stop. Uh, pause watching. the video here and. Get out of there, you know. Yeah. I'm just going to put on the comment, like, on um, the description. We don't, first of all, we don't want you guys to have nightmares. Um, second of all, um, your parents might get mad at you if you watch videos, creepy videos like this. And, yeah, it's just scary. Even I'm scared, guys. I'll admit it, okay? I'm scared. This I'm is not. creepy. I gotta be honest. Okay. I, I guess. <laughs> I like these kind of stuff. Yeah, I like it, except, come on. I, ha I have a bit of the creeps, you know? Like, mm, no. Girl. Anyway. This dude got threat. Okay, whatever. At the theater, more often than not, you hope to entertain, but some audience are not very lively. Originally published by YouTuber Phil Koch, this footage shows a paranormal investigation. While exploring a haunted theater, Phil kicks back in his theater seat. Sitting alone in the dark room, a wide shot shows no one in the aisle behind Phil. The row is entirely empty. Little does he know he's in for more than a show. Watch the seat to his left behind him. While sitting there, staring forward, the seat shudders back and forth. 
Dude, did you see that? Someone pushed no, it down to it. sip and then decided against it. Although he couldn't have seen the movement, the sound sends Phil fleeing the scene, I saw that. likely without any desire oh for an encore. That's so creepy. <laughs> Okay, you have to admit that's creepy, right? Is that not creepy? That's really fun for me. Paranormal team disturbs a power. Now maybe I should do more YouTube videos. Investigation by. Is he home though? You know what? You should, Tina. You should do creepy videos that could possibly um scar a kid their whole life. Yeah, good idea, Tina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. The door opens right in front of him, no. and people are claiming to see this figure. Ooh, okay, that's dude, fake. That's that seems funny. Fake. That's I like that. That seems really fake, guys. Yeah, this is kind of fake. What do you think? I just know I wouldn't be going Guys, most of this is probably fake. Um, if you guys um, don't agree, then that's okay. But I feel like some of this is fake, you know. Like, I respect anyone's opinion. Yeah. I don't really care. Um, it doesn't speech. matter. You may have just discovered the soundtrack to your nightmares, published to YouTube by Colin May right. in June of 2019. This clip shows a young man in a prison cell, no context given. He speaks to the camera, and in the midst of his monologue, he gives a strange, otherworldly shriek like a velociraptor. <laughs> Why? Well, YouTubers have a wealth of hypotheses. For example, Lord Woody thinks that the man is sucking the soul out of the cameraman. I just know if I were in this situation, I'd be getting the heck out of there. Number three, Whoa, being followed. Has... Do you feel like someone's pursuing you? Then you should probably trust your gut. Published to YouTube by Uppy Yamaha in February of 2019. This video follows a motorcyclist minding his own business on the open road. Wearing a GoPro, he manages to capture a white truck in front of him. Nothing out of the ordinary. Ahead, the truck pulls over to the side of the road. This too appears innocent enough, but after passing the white truck and later taking a turn onto a side street, seeing the truck continue along, you probably wouldn't expect what comes next. Oh, dude, did you? Oh, darn. Just an ad, guys. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. The biker returns to the main road, and the same white truck, now a ways ahead, pulls over again, letting him pass a second time. The biker starts to wonder what's going on. Even more worrisome, he thinks the truck is following him. He suspects the driver might be trying to record his license plate to report him for something. Although he says he hasn't done anything to report, he again pulls over at an intersection and attempts to wait out the suspect, who has stopped as well. The biker says the man in the truck is attempting to wave him on. After a brief face-off, the biker turns to the left, noting the guy's plate number and saying he was taking pictures of him. While the video doesn't come to any concrete conclusion about what the white truck wanted, the biker suspects that he's dealt with the same man before. Some in the comments think it's probably just some angry boomer who's mad about how loud the bike is. Others advise that if this happens again, to pull into a fire station, as they most certainly will help oh someone being followed. Oh. A cautionary tale if there ever was one. Well, For all Tina, we know that what would you do if this happened to you? I'd pull my bike, uh, I'd just park my bike and go, dude, what the heck is your problem? And uh, whatever they say, I'm just going to be like, 911, there's someone following me. What if they just said... Wait, what? Why would you, what, you said whatever they say, you just call 911? Yeah, I just call 911 because they're following me. That's sus suspicious. They, what if they said, are oh, guilty. No, what if they said, oh, I thought you were my best friend. Sorry. Then I'd you say, well, you're mixing up. And then if they keep on following me, I'd probably call the police. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I this lurker could have had that. even more sinister motives. Number two, paranormal motorcycle. What lurks in your alley in the middle of the night? This video may surprise you. Published to YouTube by Taslock in March of 2021, the security footage was recorded on the 30th of December 2020 at around 4 in the morning. 
an empty road with a few motorcycles and bicycles parked along each side still in the darkness, at least for the moment. Suddenly, someone invisible decides to take this bike out for a spin. What the, the heck? abruptly pulls out oh into the gosh. road, turning that is in place. Cool. At one point, it slows in its turning, That's... then jerks forward. I don't know what to say about that. That's just cool. Falling over on the side in the middle of the road. I'd be excited to see that. Could just be something mechanical malfunctioning in the bike? Or did a ghost realize he didn't have enough momentum mid-launch? I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe? Yeah, I'm going to totally seconds, like this video. Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If Okay, well, anyway, guys, um, we're going to end this video here. Uh, be sure to smash the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe. And, yeah, guys, bye! Bye! Bye!